everybody, it's Pajama Wolfie. It's the 4th of July, so I just wanted to tell you guys a little bit about the finest example of American filmmaking that exists in the world, as far as I know of. It's a little movie called Death Race 2000. It's from 1975. The year 2000. America is a vast speedway. People line the streets to witness the greatest drivers on earth in a race from sea to shining sea. This is a death race. You finish first, or not at all. Death Race 2000. This is about, like, you know, stereotypical dystopian society, fascist state, you know, the government's, like, controlled by corporations and fear and, and all that. You know, typical dystopian society stuff. And the only sport they really have, or at least it's really important, is Death Race. Death Race. Where, um, a bunch of cool looking people in cars with all kinds of, like, crazy weapons and stuff on them drive across the country really fast and run over people for points. And it also, uh, that affects the score in addition to how quick you get across the country. It's definitely a uh, classic. It's not real high budget, but it is probably the best satire movie I've seen in my life. And you know why? Not only does it state its point, it's a good example of its point. The basic plug of the movie, right down to the wire, is the people in the movie, the government says, if you want to send a message to people, then you have to deliver it as entertainment. And not just any entertainment, it has to have violence, probably some death, cars, and tits. We want sex, we want violence, and we want it now. And this message is in a movie full of violence, death, cars, and tits. You know, I mean, how can you beat that? You know, the Hunger Games? Yeah, they're good and stuff, and you might study them in college, but Death Race 2000 just tells you all you need to know, right? It, it takes an hour and 20 minutes to watch Death Race 2000, and I don't even know how many minutes to watch the Hunger Games movies, and way longer than that to read the books. So... Roger Corman beat you. Suzanne Collins. Roger Corman beat you. Happy 4th of July! Death Race 2000. Rated R. God bless America. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. Oh, I'm free.